Hey y'all, I'm gonna play in my um, clothing tag inspired junk journal a little bit more today. And I've kind of messed with it during the week. I didn't do a video last week. I have been through this like hacking nightmare. My Google account got hacked. And you know how many things are tied to your Google account? Oh my gosh, it was a nightmare. Anyway, it's fixed now. Thank goodness, but um, it was a little scary because they got into my AdSense account, and that's where, you know, that's how you get money from YouTube for allowing the ads on your channel. They got in there, and they locked me out, and they started changing my banking information, which made me panic a little bit. So, yeah, I was not in a good frame of mind to do a video last week, um, but I got that taken care of. So I've been playing in my book a little bit more. I've just glued a few things down uh, like this. And, you know, we'll just go through. I'll show you what I did. Um, I have a bunch of these Tom stickers because they give you one every time you buy shoes from them. <laughs> so I've got this stack of Tom stickers. And I cut some Tom shoes out of a catalog at one point and tucked them away. So I stuck them there. And this I already had stuck on here, and I think it was a, in the last video, or maybe, uh, I don't know. Anyway, at some point I decided this apple needed to go on here, and then I found a word. I've been digging through my words, and some washi tape, and the little postage stamp, because this is green, and there was not much else green on the page. So um, I stuck a postage stamp there. And pulled these out. I think I want to put them here in some way. I really like using, you know, it's like two identical things of different sizes. And that's really easy to get with perfume ads. So, um, I just kind of like that. I don't know where that's going. But anyway. I glued J-Lo down with the bugs in her hair. Because I like that. And stuck these um, Tom's tags on here just because. And then added the washi tape there to kind of go with her little outfit. I think we glued him down last time. I don't remember. And this little guy, I was just playing with him. Okay, I added some scraps up here because I, I, I really want to stick him here, but he felt a little off balance because of this. So those scraps kind of balance him out and I really don't think it needs anything else, at least not right now. So I'm probably just going to glue him down. Still haven't decided what to do with that. Although I do have this is a Stitch Fix sticker that comes on your package from Stitch Fix. It's round. This is round. And um, that's all I know about that. So, okay. We'll see. I forgot about her. Uh... I stuck some washi tape here. I have a little, this little thing with washi tapes in it. I just pulled some that I thought I might use and I put them in. This is from, um, it's a package of Oreos, you know? It's a little tray that comes in your Oreo package after you've eaten your three servings. Because, yes, this is three servings of Oreos in my house. <laughs> Makes a perfect little washi tape holder. So yeah, that's what I got there. Um, okay, we did her woman's work with the little money deal. We all like that. Okay, this one I was just playing with a minute ago. I liked her here because she kind of goes with this blue. And then I was looking through my words and phrases and found this that I cut out and I didn't know what it meant, so I Googled it. And it means it's kind of like a um, kind of like a socialite person, you know. And you know she's kind of got that look, so I'll put that there. And I was digging through my scraps and found this is just a paint chip piece, and I wanted something to put here. And I found this postage stamp that's already on this scrap of envelope, which kind of really goes, don't you think? And then, okay, while I was looking for the postage stamp to go here, you know, I had these out. I'm digging through my postage stamps. I pulled this one out and decided, no, she's not right. But 
right next to this one was this paint chip. And look! <laughs> Perfect! I don't know where that's going to go, if it's meant for here or someplace else, but I'm loving that. So, um, I have also pulled a few things out. Here's another one of these Tom Shoes tags, and then I was in my postage stamps and decided that one's really cute on there for something. I don't know. And then this was a tag I got off a shirt the other day that I picked up at Walmart because, you know, it was $2 and it fit me, and that's my criteria. And I thought, what am I going to do with that? And I was looking through some of my image files and found these. Um, I pulled these out of, I think it was an uppercase magazine at some point. And um, so I cut one of these out. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I mean, I could really put it there. It almost looks like her body. Or I could put it in here or here. Or, I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like those need to go together in some way. Yeah, still clueless about this. And, yeah, pulled that out. I don't know if it needs to go there or over here. I just don't know. Still loving that just like it is. Don't know what else to do with that. And, mwah, love her. That's it. So that's where we are with that one. Okay, while I was digging for my um, some words and phrases to use, I came across this one. It says, no amount of skillful invention can replace the essential element of imagination by Edward Hopper. Okay, yeah, I don't know. I don't know where. It looks like I got that out of a, I have these books of quotes. That's probably where I got it. But in my words and phrases folder was this little girl. And see, she's, she's got lipstick on her face in the mirror. She's adorable. I cut her out, and I thought, oh, those would go perfect together. Why is she in my words and phrases folder? I thought she was misfiled until I turned her over. And this, it says believe. This is what I actually kept. But little did I know that this is what I actually needed. <laughs> So I'm going to use those two in some way at some point. Like, you know, it's kind of like this one. I don't know where that'll be. Those actually might be cute together. Yeah. But anyway, I love it when things just accidentally touch each other and they go together. And it just takes all the thinking out of it. You just don't have to think about it. It just happens. Yeah. But I do know one thing I want to do. I had... Um, cut out some watch images recently, or cut out some images, and one of them was this watch, which is kind of large, and look how it just happens to fit perfectly right there. Perfect size, it's exactly how I cut it out, and you know, another one of those, oh, it was meant to be, but I wanted to do a little something extra, so I cut the peephole in it, just took my X-Acto knife, cut around three sides, scored it here so it makes a little window, and then I started looking for a face to put behind it, and I settled on this one. Um, who is that? Is that Christina Aguilera? I really don't know. But anyway, her little, her little pale face I think would fit just right, right there. So let's do that first. You can just be riveted by my gluing skills. And the way I do it is just to glue right around the edge of the opening. Just like that. And I'm using this Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive Clear Drying Craft Glue from Tonic, yes, Tonic Studios. Then let's just position this on our, do I want it like this? No, I do like it kind of sideways. Like so. Now, 
Do -do 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 -do. Then I'm just going to cut away all of the excess. And that is ready to go. Oh, that looks great. I like that. All right. I'm not keeping her body. I got no use for that. But I do want to put this here. And I think I want it a little off center. Or do I? No. I think center is good. Just like that. So yeah, if your AdSense account ever gets hacked, well, okay, here's what happened. The Go my Google account got hacked. I got an email that said, you know, so and so in the UK has just tried to log into your account. You know, if this is not authorized activity, click here. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, well that notice came in in the middle of the night. I was asleep. I did not see it until the next morning. And then the very next email I got was that so-and-so has, um, has requested administrator rights in your Google AdSense account and blah, 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 and, you know, all of these other frightening emails. So, yeah, by the time I got the warning from Google, it was too late. The deed had already been done. So... I went in and um, recovering my Google, you know, like email thing, Gmail and all, that was easy because it says, you know, click here to change your password, all that. So I changed my password. Um, everything seemed fine until I got notices from AdSense saying that the same person had... Um, started making changes in my AdSense account and I went to try to log into my AdSense account I could not even with my new credentials it said that there was no AdSense account tied to that email address click here to sign up for AdSense that freaked me out and then I started getting more and more notices of you know stuff that that he was doing in my AdSense account and it's just a horrible helpless feeling. All I could do was sit there and watch as I got the email notifications that <laughs> I was being robbed blind, I thought. <laughs> so, yeah, anyway, contacted my bank, um, you know, got that all squared away, contacted the AdSense support, which was not easy to find because they want you to go to all these community forums to get all of your answers, which irritates the snot out of me. But it is what it is. Anyway, finally found out where to submit a um, request for service or whatever. And then it took a couple of days for them to get back to me. But they did finally get back to me. And, of course, I had to prove who I was and send them stuff like my driver's license. Okay, I had just been hacked, so I'm already really leery about putting more stuff out there. But fortunately, you know, I contacted them. It wasn't just them contacting me out of the blue. So I hoped that it was legit and I was doing the right thing. So I did. I had to send a copy of my driver's license and all this other stuff to prove that I owned that AdSense account. And it took another full week for them to even get back to me and say, okay, we got it. You know, we're on it. And I, by that time, I was just freaking out. I was just sitting there watching as you know, the person who hacked the account was changing my banking information and doing this and I'm trying to send follow-up emails to the um, AdSense person who had first contacted me and of course I'm getting nothing but silence as a response. It was just, it was a little bit nerve-wracking. It was not as bad as it could have been because it's not my primary bank account that I have tied to my AdSense account. I have a whole separate account set up for that kind of thing, which is fortunate because if it was like, you know, our family's main account, um, that would have been much worse. But anyway, got it all taken care of. Nothing was stolen. First thing they did was put a hold on the account so that while they're investigating, no payments would go out. And payments are just once a month anyway. And uh, 
it wasn't quite time for that so it all worked out but needless to say I was in no mood to make a video while that was happening so that's why I did it okay yep I like that one there else did I have? Okay, where's that girl? Is that dry enough? I think it is. Maybe a better better deal. There she is. Let's put this little girl here and here. Uh-huh. Like that. And then her on the bone. That works for me. Okay. I have lost my good um, X-Acto knife, which has me fretting a little bit. It's like the one I bought it probably 30 years ago. It's just, it's awful. It's gross. It has this green handle on it that's all stained with paint and you've probably seen me use it. It's like, it's my exacto knife. I have several other backup knives that they're, you know, backups that I never really wanted to use or intended to use and now I have to use them and I just feel like I feel like I'm all thumbs with them because they're just not my knife. They're not right. Do y'all get that way about your supplies? Like you've got your certain X-Acto knife or bone folder or, or heat gun. You know, I have other heat guns. This is the one I want to use. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I mean, yeah, I get excited over new tools and supplies and you know, machines to play with. But boy, those those tried and true, trusted old friends just can't be beat. So I still have not found my exacto knife. I've looked in all the usual places. Um I hope that it turns up soon because I just don't feel like I can cut properly with the backup knives. They're just not right. All right, I'll put this down here. So about um, a couple weeks ago, Jason broke my favorite coffee mug. And it was an accident, you know, it happens. But I was devastated because it's the one I, I use it every single day. I loved it because it had a big nose on it. It was from IKEA and it was a gift. It was a happy mail. And I adored that mug like you wouldn't believe. And he accidentally broke it. And I was upset. <sighs> I uh, pouted for a little while, and then I went and bought me a new mug. I got me one of those, you know, big, flowery, um, what's her name, Pioneer Woman mugs from Walmart. Yeah, I like it. I'm happy with my new mug. I miss my old one, but I'm happy with my new one. We're getting along just fine. And then we just finished watching the second season of The Umbrella Academy. Have y'all seen that? Uh-huh. It's pretty good. You like that sort of thing. And we do. So we just finished watching it. And this morning, I made biscuits and gravy. And I don't even know how it happened, but somehow I managed to accidentally break Jason's favorite juice glass. And it's kind of funny because it's just this little, it's shaped, you know, it's like a Coca-Cola glass. It's a little, but it's too tiny. I think I probably got it at the Dollar Tree. You know, it wasn't like a 
major thing. It wasn't like my special mug. And I swear it was an accident. I didn't do it on purpose. But um, I went into the living room and showed him. And of course, he puffs up like, what did you do? And then <laughs> I said, Olga for Olga. <laughs> Which just of course cracked me up. If you haven't seen the Umbrella Academy, you have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> but if you have seen it, you're probably chuckling too, because it made me chuckle. <laughs> that is very cool. Oh, it really needs something there now. That's kind of naked looking, isn't it? Huh, I'll figure that out later. Um, and I'm, and I'm, and I'm, did I have anything else that needed to be stuck? No, I haven't committed to that yet. I think that is it. Okay, shall we work on this tag? I want to work on this tag. Let's see if I can come up with an idea for it. Maybe it does need to go there. And then, because I could do, I pulled out some, you know, papers and collage bits to use. And some stencil paper. There's videos for these somewhere, I'm sure. like that because you can see through it I could do that or then even put this here oh because look how nice that looks okay maybe that's what I want to do let's see what it looks like on this front one well even that's kind of cool I don't know. I think I like this one better because of the orange background. Okay, I'm going to do it. I'm just going to do it. Put a little glue. This is a... Uh, gl the glue I'm using is a mixture of uh, about half Mod Podge, half Elmer's Glue All, and then just a dash of uh, a splash of water, just a little bit of water to thin it out. And that makes a good collage glue. You can use just Elmer's or just Mod Podge. But the mixture um, I like. Now I need my, see, this is my backup knife. I mean, it's fine. It's just not my, it's not my green one that I love. The cut's just the same. I mean, they use the same blades. Why would it matter? I mean, it's not like the green one had an extra cushy handle. It didn't. It was had like a coated handle, but I wouldn't necessarily call it cushy. Okay, really? I didn't even get close to the edge of that. My eyes are getting so bad. There we go. Oh, that is cute. Super cute. Oh, now do I want to cover it? <laughs> Maybe I don't want to cover it now. <laughs> it does look cute. <laughs> I'm super indecisive today, aren't I? <laughs> huh. Well. I think I want to use this on the whole thing. Um, more than one area at least. I could put the blue part here. Oh, I 
that. I'm kind of leaning toward that now. Okay. Well, I'm not going to, do I want to, no, I'm not going to lap it over like that. Let's just do one panel at a time because clearly I'm indecisive and need to, uh, I need to overthink before I just jump in and make a decision. Give myself time to overthink. Got a little too much glue on that one. Oh, very cool. Ooh, I'm liking the um Deli paper gel print thingies on the tags. Oh, I might do more of that. Huh, huh, huh. Now, where'd my can go? I'm gonna put this, it's just gonna hurt me if I don't put it away. So, there we go. So now, yeah, now I think I want it there. And then I'll figure out what to do with that. I mean, we don't have to have all the answers at once, right? Well, there is that. I sure do like that. Okay. Um, these probably won't show up so great on here. Once you glue them down, I don't know, will they? I could go with this, which is darker, it's more, yeah, it's opaque, but still kind of goes. Okay, why not? There we go. And since I don't know if I'm going to glue it down to something or make it hang, I'm going to leave the back alone. Because I can always go back in later and cover it if I need to. But indecisiveness dictates that I leave it be. Uh, yeah, don't know what that's all about, but there we have it. <laughs> Kind of makes me want to cover some more. I pulled these out to do something with them. Uh, these are cool. I'm seeing a lot of clothing tags done like this lately. and Which is kind of cool, but then like you can't really... You know, the only way to get the tag part off is to cut this and then you lose that. So I don't know. No. Uh, do I want to cover it? I could put one of these little. This is one of those. Um, what did we call them? Oh shoot! I'm trying to look. Some kind of transfer gel print transfer. You remember with the magazine pages and the paint? We all did that. And sometimes they're ooh, great, and sometimes not so much. Yeah, this is some that I had kept, and maybe if I cut out like a, let me trace around it with something, like maybe this Sharpie. Okay. Now, there's that little thing that we can do something with. Uh, I don't know what. Let's, let's take care of this little girl here. What did I do with her? Here she is. 
this little girl, will she fit in our little book? Oh, look, I think she will. Maybe she just needs to go here. I think I want to cut her out. Get this white border off of there. That I want there. Just look. Oh, yeah, that's where I want her. There we go. No amount of skillful invention can replace the essential element of imagination. I love that. Okay, another page down in our little book. Still need something for there. I don't know what. this with some of this or maybe a different to dig in my stash and see if I've got a different pattern this tissue it gets a little bit see-through when you put it on I wonder what it would look like on the back maybe I'll put it, put it on the back see what happens The only thing worse than fussy cutting is fussy exactoing. Not a fan of either one. Okay. Well, that's okay. Well, there we have it. I don't know where that goes from there either, so we'll just leave it be. I mean, clearly something needs to show through there, right? So maybe I should find an image. Let's see what I've got. I've got just the right thing. I could make that look like a watch. No, I don't want to. Not in the mood. Oh, this is a Daniel Merriam. It was a calendar. I saved the pages from. He does just a fabulous, surreal art stuff. Oh, that's kind of cool. Huh. Maybe that's what it needs. Just like that. Or just like that. Hmm. I'm going to have to think about that. Let's do a bottle. I really think I like that. I like things with cutouts. And can you tell, you know, like the peekaboo watch faces? I don't know what it is about that kind of thing, but I do like it. All right, I'm going to think about that some more. Um, you know what? I don't really think I have any more ideas for today. Unless that needs to go there. 
but that's not. She needs to say something. Have your vices, but enjoy them wisely. Oh, I like it. I like it, but I don't like that kind of floating out in nowhere like that. I'm going to find something to anchor that phrase. Maybe just one of these cigar bands, because it would be just about the right size. See? Like that. I don't know if I like that color. God, they're all the same. Same colors. The red, gold, black. I need to have a talk with cigar manufacturers and have them do something about their color choices for their bands. It's too big. Oh, I think that works better. Okay. That is what we'll use, unless we use that. Let's see what this one looks like. That's just a pretty band. No, I don't think I want to cover up that band. I want to use that for something. Okay. I got these, most of these, from my good friend Vicki Ross. I just love her. There we go. Y'all see how this just kind of slowly comes together pretty much on its own? <laughs> Very little input from me. <laughs> okay. I think that's all I'm going to do for today. Um, hopefully, I will be back next week, barring any, you know, hackers or identity theft or weirdness. So, y'all take care. Have a good one. The end.